Okay. Pruped kitties learning the hard way. My project became so big that Claude can't properly understand it. So it's like a, 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 a slightly bigger toy example. Like how big? How many files and length of files? Like how many tokens are we talking about? Like it can't be that much. It can't be that hard to hit this, right? Uh, so I made a project in Python entirely using Cursor, Composer, and Cloud, but it has gotten to a point where the whole code base is over 30 Python files. Code is super disorganized, might even have duplicate loops, and Cloud keeps forgetting basic stuff like imports at this point. When I ask it to optimize the code or fix a bug, it doesn't even recognize the main issue and just ends up deleting random lines or breaking everything completely. I have zero knowledge about Python. It's actually a miracle I've got this far with the project, but now it's almost impossible to keep track of things. What do I do? I've already tried using Cursor, but it doesn't seem to work. Does everybody know what the obvious answer is? I, I really do hope that you guys feel better reading this, learning to code is a really invaluable thing. Just, I mean, even a little bit of code, just a little bit, you'd actually be able to make this go much further. Even just a little bit, right? You should be able to go much further with just a hint of coding because then you could at least reduce down the context. You'd actually understand why certain things are in certain places and you'd be able to go kind of somewhat far. Like I just even we're talking like basic, like two months into just trying to learn to code, you could probably make this go much, much further. It's like so crazy how much the power of programming multiplies. And I think this is just really where it shows is that it just feels absolutely confusing and things utterly break down at a certain point. And yeah, at some point, this will just turn into something larger, right? We can all agree that the, whatever that whatever's happening, there's gonna be improved AI. We're gonna get the VRAM to the moon, speed to the moon, algorithms to the moon using shining light down tubes for super fast and everything, right? Uh, like that's all gonna happen. Things are gonna get bigger and you can, you're gonna be able to go further and further and further. I get it. That's not, that's not what we're kind of arguing against. What I'm arguing against is that just a simple ability to just to turn the ship a little bit, not even a lot of it, just being able to turn the ship a little bit and you will be able to steer it so, so much more efficiently, even in something like this. You know what I mean? It just wouldn't be that hard. Um, I got stressed reading this. I mean, I feel, I, I obviously feel stressed kind of reading this. Um, OP has zero knowledge about Python. No knowledge equals no stress. That kind of feels like the opposite. This whole post kind of feels like this, this is actually really stressful for the poor guy. Imagine, like, I, I wonder what he's building also. How do you get to the point of having zero Python knowledge? I assume he, what he actually means is zero programming knowledge. Because if you had some Python knowledge, or if you had some programming knowledge, you probably would be able to fix, you generally would be able to just fix things up and start kind of moving, right? Uh, obvious answer, try a different model. R1 fixes this. Man, stressful. This is the way. Soon all major airlines, nuclear uh, deterrence, escalation steps, cancer, on, uh, oncology treatments, etc., will be developed main and maintained like this. <laughs> this is like, this honestly is the worst comment I've ever read in my entire lifetime. You know, there is this, there is this comment that does keep coming up all the time on on YouTube especially, where it's just like, bro, you just say this because you don't understand. It doesn't really matter about your file structure or anything because at the end of the day, soon AI will just own the whole thing. So it doesn't matter if it's in one big file, if it's separated out by 100, uh, 100,000 little files, like none of it actually matters because the AI is just gonna use it all and set it all up anyway. So it just doesn't matter. Like you just gotta quit worrying about it, just let it happen. And yeah, you know, I hear ya. Well, I'm not saying no. I'm just saying when I read things like this, it also just makes me kind of freaked out, okay? It just kind of makes me freak. I'm kind of freaked out about it. I'm just kind of like, I'm on the edge right now. I'm, I'm edging, okay? I'm full edging right now. Get me all freaked out. Uh, you need to be able to understand how your code works on your project growth. Yeah, I mean, there you go. That's the answer. Uh, I love this. I love this as a suggestion. I suggest to move to Klein. I like how that, like, how is this first suggestion's not a little bit of practice goes a long way, right? Like this guy's problem could be fixed. I think in one week of hard work, he could probably make a decent dent into it because he's gotten this far. So obviously there's some knowledge of programming starting to seep in. He knows like import, right? Knows what import lines are. Like there's something's obviously happening. There's some learning happening. You could easily go somewhere with this. You know what I mean? You could easily go somewhere with this and one week worth of work and you could probably be able to fix this and scale out to whatever the completion of this project is.
Crazy. Anyways, so I hope everybody knows the importance. I hope that I hope this this post is just like such a great. I hope this actually helps a lot of people to realize that hard skills are still great. They're still great. And it makes me realize that I still feel like all my gut feels about AI are still correct. I know I know I'm considered the biggest coper and seether of AI on YouTube. That's like my number one comment is that I am the biggest coper and seether of AI. Um, here we are. But no, I, I just genuinely feel bad. I, you know what I, I, I feel, you know who I feel bad the most for are all the people being pushed into positions at their work and in life because they heard AI can make anybody a programmer. And these people were able to sh throw up like a quick chart for someone to look at or something kind of like basically useful. And then their company's like, hey, can you just be our programmer now? And though now this person that just has no experience programming is out there just trying to use some sort of AI to program. And they're just like, I have no idea what I'm choosing. Like they're, they're using MariaDB. They don't even know what MariaDB is. They're probably also having some sort of Excel spreadsheet storage DB going on. Maybe some text files with their own format that the AI is made up, right? Like, it's just probably absolutely insanity out there for all these people who have no programming knowledge that's been foisted into this programming world. And it's just like, you got to feel bad. You got to feel a little bit bad for these people. Hey, you leave MariaDB out of this. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the MariaDB joke, okay? Everyone just keeps telling me about MariaDB. Like, every stream, at least five times, someone's like, yeah, but what about MariaDB? Okay, what about MariaDB? And I'm like, por qué Maria? DB. By the way, the next five years, I'm calling it now, utter chaos. I think we're at the tipping point of utter chaos. This is what I think is going to happen. This is my this is my this is my opinion is that we're entering this part where software is being just put in places because it can be because anybody can put software anywhere now. Right. And we're just reading this. We're just reaching this point where all of a sudden, yikes, like we're I think we're like right here. And I think there's just going to be this realization coming up here that, oh, no, oh, no, what did we just do? And there's going to be a lot of little companies that are going to try to figure out how to descramble everything they've done. It's going to get wild. So how much of that is working software? Well, working is kind of a unique uh, – working software is kind of a funny way you could phrase that. You know, like a lot of things work. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's working software. Does that make Shows sense? Goes out of the primogen. My man. Thank you. Merm, appreciate that. The name is the – Bro AI is going to steal your job again. 